Okay. This is case five, a 60 year old man with a solitary verrucous lesion on the lower leg. And this was uh, courtesy of my friend, uh, Dr. Travis Vandergriff in Texas. And let me get the next one queued up here to load. Uh, just to make sure my computer caches it. Okay. All right. Anyone have some takers uh, for what this might be? Well, I can try this one. So we have this sort of like lattice work of these really thin, uh, sort of, you know, blue epidermal strands connecting to the epidermis. And then I think sort of within the strands there are a few little ducts, and there's this fibrovascular stroma around. Um, so with the history, I was thinking an eggcrying strango fibroadenoma. Excellent job. Nailed it. Yeah, I think that this is a pretty good example of eccrine syringo fibroadenoma, which people debate. There's multiple different forms. It can either be solitary lesion on a wide range of sites and ages, but I kind of feel like the leg is one of the more classic sites, but it's been reported in many different areas. And then some of them can be multiple. There's a linear form that's been described. I've never seen. I've only seen a couple of these in my practice. And um, there's times where you can see this pattern as a kind of reactive change. So there's some debate back and forth of are they reactive or neoplastic, or maybe there's a couple different things from different etiologies that have the same appearance. I think this one's a little bit hard because it doesn't have very many ducts. And you could, if you wanted to be a you know devil's advocate here, someone could make the argument that, well, this may just be a wart or a parigo nodule that's very tangentially cut. And I think that's possible, but I still think it's just way too much expansion an elongation of the reedy. But normally, the normal teaching that I say is if you see islands of papillary dermis surrounded by epidermis, that means that the cut is tangential, oblique. You're not, the microtome is not slicing straight down at a 90 degree angle to the skin surface. It's going at a at an alternate angle that's more shallow than that. And because of that, you're seeing the reedy connecting instead of the normal, you know, kind of finger or test tube shaped reedy that we see. And what you'll also see is look at the papillary dermis. So we do have some tangential section here, but I still think it's a syringofibradenoma. Here's the normal papillary dermis with its vessels, right? And there's a bit of stasis change here, right? But then as we go over here, you can see, see this expanded zone here? Part of that is probably a reactive fibrosis to the tumor, but or to the, the, the lesion, but also some of it may be that we're tangentially cutting through the dermis. So just so you're aware of that, there is some tangential sectioning at play here. But to me, elongated thin strands that connect together of keratinocytes with a variable amount of sweat ducts in the midst of them is syringofibradenoma or eccrine syringofibradenoma. And if you like eponyms, it's a mascaro. I used to say mascaro. And then someone on uh, YouTube just recently pointed out that, that that mascaro has an accent over the O and he was Catalan, or uh, is Catalan and has, and that, so that's, his name has got the O accent at the end. So I was thankful uh, to my uh, colleague online who pointed that out to me. Thank you very much. And in any case, I think that this fits, at least it's the best example I have in my collection. And again, thanks to Dr. Vandergriff for donating it to me. So uh, these are benign lesions. Um, and I think it's just good to be aware of them because they have kind of a unique pattern. So normally interconnected um, reedy like this with windows of, of little or islands of, of papillary dermis, think of oblique or tangential sectioning, but a few lesions can produce that syringofibradenoma syringocystatinoma papilliferum, although it looks very obvious and different once you are familiar with it. And also one other lesion that we're about to talk about in a minute. But any questions about this first? Okay, let's move on to the next one.